nuclear structure nuclear structure we already know that uh, there are energetic levels w we want to describe using any kind of m models there are models which come from first pr principles first principles and another one that we use the phenomenological behavior that is given by collective models You have two options, but let's start discussing something that to me was interesting. In 1971, Jolos uh, explained in this paper uh, of physical uh, of nuclear physics that using the, the algebraic method of Marumori et al. An extensions of the boson representation of the Holstein and Primakov and Dyson for a spin operator is given for the case of fermion pairs and density operators. They demonstrated that the equivalent formulations arise when the generator coordinate method is applied. Using the Dyson concept is an exact way a finite boson expansion of the fermion pair and density operators was der derived. A consequence, the resulting Hamiltonian contains the boson operators and most in sixth order. However, this Dyson transformation is not unitary and therefore the Hamiltonian is not Hermitian. The diagonalization of the, the Hamiltonian leads to be orthogonal set of eigenstates. Similar to the Dyson theory, these states contain components which violate the Pauli principle. The problem of the separation of the physical and non-physical components has been solved by the introduction of a non-linear boson transformation. This is was given in 1971 by Jolos. Later, in 1974, Janssen and Jolos assumed the algebraic treatment of the nuclear quadrupole of freedom, which the collective quadrupole degree of freedom described by SU6 algebra generated by five generalized coordinates and conjugated momenta and their commutators. On this basis of a collective Hamiltonian is derived, where the parameters of the realistic nuclear Hamiltonian, as the, I mean, single particle energies, matrix elements of the interactions appears in terms of a few constants. The algebraic property of a collective variable lead to the new quantum number n, which restricts, restricts the maximal number of photons, phonons contained in the collective states. The collective Hamiltonian is applied to the transitional nuclei. So, the transformation into an, the intrins, intrinsic frame of reference yields explicit formulae, formula for the potential energy, the mass coefficients and moment inertia in terms of the intrinsic deformation parameters. And finally, in 1975, Yakelo and Arima, they, uh, with those information, proposed the IBM that... Um, that they propose a description of a collective quadrupole state in even even nuclei in terms of representations of bosons of SU6 group. So, in and finally, also in 1978, Ginochio introduced the monopole terms and quadrupole pairing of physics in in physics letter, where a Hamiltonian for valence nucleons is shown to give an exa exa exact, ex exact. <laughs> so I already explained something about Jolos, 
Janssen, An Arima y Anakelo, And Arima, okay. So it's important to to check that um, in 1971 was a proposed use the Boson representation. This is the Boson representation, okay. Later, this is was in in 1971. Later, Janssen. Um, I I will finish soon. Ah, sorry that I am spending your time, but this is important. In S, in they propose use the symmetry of um, of SO6 algebra. Algebra. This is was in 1974, and the ABM one was in 1970, uh, one in 75. So we have different uh, evolution. The evolution of the of the collective models is is written here from my understanding. Okay, that. The main idea of this thing is that after the closed shell, okay, we have uh, a pairing effect, which we already studied before. That this pairing effect has a quadrupole quadrupole interaction, and also the uh, Gionicino in, in include the monopole interaction. So you can write the Hamiltonian in terms of monopole monopole interaction and quadrupole quadrupole interaction. We already studied before that the case for even even nuclei. There is a behavior which for the degrees of freedom given by the follow one. Okay, maybe it's something like that. Okay, the uh, the the when the nucleus is deformed, it's possible associate the SU three symmetry, spherical symmetry. You can study with O U five and O six when is gamma unstable. Okay, that is a kind of mixing up of both of them. So. The problem that I notice here is uh, given by the problem uh, or the thing that I want to do is what we can do when we are in the middle. Okay? What, what is the model which we can use when the nucleus is not has not perfect symmetry? when the symmetry is broken symmetry when this perfect symmetry is broken what we can do okay the problem which I found is uh, is associated with the quantum numbers which we're using the problem is more general, is not simple really. The quantum numbers that we are using, okay, here we have some quantum numbers, one, and here we have another quantum numbers. Let's remind when we have S06, or sorry, um, U6. So you have three different ways which you can uh, ex develop the theory. When it's a total form, we can reproduce the change of SU3. When it's symmetrical, the distribution we use 
is is u5 that is the vibrational limit and is o6 or o6 when is total def when is the game unstable okay here we have six i will finish soon so the problem that i notice mathematically sense is which are the quantum numbers Okay, the Hamiltonian is written in terms of Casimir operators of the groups that belongs to the change, the selected change. Okay, here by some constants that are the constants that uh, we are fitting to the spectrum experimental spectrum however in 2013 Nomura with Yakel of course using coherent states coherent states coherent states they could reproduce for a particular they could, they could reproduce the values of those um, coefficients that we we have here given by the theory of of the bcs maybe you um, both of them kazuyuki and yoshihiko you are more familiar with the theory of DFT and so on that they should be connected with the same problem that Nomura already were studying in 2013 because I am pretty sure that it's important this connection between the first principle with collective states this connection is crucial for us Okay. Also, there are some works uh, between the which is the limit of the ABM in the classic. Also, there are some troubles that I cannot release at the moment with the relativistic limit of the ABM, but we didn't discuss. This formula is pretty simple, it's not correct at all, because unfortunately, the uh, the uh, the or uh, system doesn't work at uh, high energies after um, 80 kivs 100 kivs so we must to do something S we must to do something to this big challenge of symmetries that is uh, connect different change here we have uh, a change one a change two a change three uh, g2 okay g2 okay g prime uh, okay this is not g prime sorry let me g e i minus one Okay, here we have different change associated with the dynamical symmetries, okay? The idea is that those, uh, those uh, change always they contain uh, quantum numbers or irreducible representations, quantum numbers. So, how we can generalize the concept of quantum numbers? Okay, uh, and a way that we can do that at the moment that I am thinking is uh, okay, first try to reproduce in a kind of matrix all the possible combinations of or change and using also the concept of co coherent states and try to determine the connection with 
those uh, the parameters that we, we have here in, in the parameter yes okay connect this with this and the value of the parameters that they follow the Hamiltonian should be as connected with this we are not taking into account broken symmetries just we are taking into account three types of symmetries this is will be our first approach 